the ultimate fountain pen. Is there such a thing? Hi, my name is Drew Brown. I am the product ambassador here at the Goulet Pen Company. And during my 10 plus years here, most of them were as the leader of the customer care team. I have seen pens ranging from engineering perfection to cringeworthy defects. And the same could be said for the substantial experience of many of my customer care team members, as well as the CEO of the company. So in this video, my team and I are going to distill our years of hands-on experience into choosing one pen each that we think is the ultimate fountain pen recommendation, not necessarily our personal favorites. We're basing these picks on our experiences here at work, so our choices will be limited to pens that we sell at our store. Okay, so I'm gonna kick things off with my ultimate pen. When choosing my pen, I took three major factors into consideration. The first was build quality. If I'm going to make a fountain pen recommendation, I do not want it to be prone to scratches, chips, or dents, because guess what? People don't like that. The second factor I kept in mind was capping efficiency. This is super important. Even the best made nibs on the planet won't write if the cap fails to keep the ink from drying out. And finally, number three, serviceability. I wanted my pick for today to both have excellent manufacturer support years after purchase, but then also I think it's important that the user of this pen be able to easily maintain the pen and affordably replace parts. My ultimate fountain pen is the Twisby Swipe. I chose this particular Twisby pen because it's not their standard filling mechanism. They usually do vac fillers and piston fillers, but the Swipe is a cartridge converter pen, which means it's easier to maintain. Plus, the Twisby converter and the Twisby cartridge, for that matter, hold way more ink than a comparable cartridge or converter, which means that even though it is a cartridge converter pen, you still get that benefit of capacity. And as far as serviceability goes, Twisby offers the converters, the cartridges, the nibs and the feeds all for sale at reasonable prices. Not to mention, Twisby has excellent post-sale manufacturer support. I gave one of these to my son, three and a half months ago, and he was excited at first, didn't write with it for that whole time, three and a half months, picked it up the other day and it wrote flawlessly. No dry writing, no hard starting, didn't need to prime the feet at all. It just worked immediately. If you have a pen sitting out and then all of a sudden it doesn't write for you after a couple days or over a weekend, that can really take the wind out of your sails. And no one wins if that happens, not the customer or the retailer. It's affordable and the Twisby swipe simply works. It works, and it works well. All right, so now that we're done with me, let's hear from the rest of the team. Hey, I'm Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com. If you've seen most of any of our other videos, you probably know that already. You know, when Drew asked me to do this one, it was tough because I'm kind of notorious for not wanting to pick just one of anything. I kind of like to have them all. Uh, and I have a lot of really kind of favorite personal pens, and honestly, it comes down to preference. There's so many good, you know, pens out there. And here I am trying to justify it. But I did finally pick one, okay? So just hang on, I'll get there. Um, so when I was trying to think about, okay, what would make a good ultimate kind of pen choice? Um, you know, obviously we've been in business for a little while here. So I was thinking, okay, you know, money talks, right? You vote with your dollars when you buy from our store. So uh, the pens that people are actually buying, I think are a pretty good indicator, especially over time, of the ones that are really good to recommend to others. I think uh, something that's got, uh, been around for a while, you know, has some durability, uh, you know, both physically, but also just over time has really stood up uh, as a reputation in the pen community. Something that's a good workhorse pen, you know, something that using using it as a daily writer, not just something that looks really attractive, but something that'll really hold up to actual use. Mm -hmm. Things like incapacity filling mechanisms, stuff like that, you know, that's really subjective. I think something that has enough incapacity to be able to use it reliably, but not something that's so complicated that is hard to use. So going with something pretty tried and true um, there was kind of a consideration for me. Uh, something that was a good writer, especially something that uh, is kind of no fuss, doesn't really require a lot to uh, be able to use the pen and, and doesn't have a big learning curve or anything. So uh, the pen that I ended up choosing was actually one that's not really a starter pen. It's one that you'll probably appreciate maybe a little bit more once you've used a few different pens and you can appreciate maybe some of the finer aspects of uh, using a fountain pen. So my choice was the uh, Lamy 2000. Maybe not a huge surprise for those who've followed me for a while. There's some other great ones, a lot of pilot pens that I love, a lot of other real ones that I would absolutely be able to interchange with this one as a top one, but the Lamy 2000 is just such a solid choice. It's, they've largely left the pen unchanged for over 50 years. 
I personally had it for over a decade. I own many of them and use them regularly. And though the nib can be a little bit, uh, take a little bit of getting used to just because the way they grind it is maybe different than most other pens. Once you kind of get past that and get used to it, it's just such a, such a solid performing pen and uh, has a great reputation. So there you go. That is my choice is the Lamy 2000. My recommendation would have three important things. First of all is the writing quality. You want to have a pen that is able to lay down ink whenever you want it to, whether it be a smooth nib or a toothy nib, it needs to be good and it needs to be reliable. And number two is capping and sealing. So it has to cap and seal perfectly because if you, uh, if you leave this pen sitting around uh, with ink in it for two months, you don't want to have to come back and clean it. It takes uh, maintenance down to almost nothing. Finally is the size and weight. So a pen that's too big is gonna get left at home. It's gonna be sitting on the desk and a pen that's too small will get lost in your pocket. I know it doesn't mind. So something that's right in the middle in that Goldilocks zone is perfect. So my ultimate pen recommendation is the Pilot E95S. Writing quality wise, I personally own a medium and it's a, just a beautiful, smooth, soft nib, little springy, got a little bit of flex to it. Excellent in a fine, excellent in an extra fine, always writes when I put it to the page. And that's partially because it has excellent capping and sealing. This pen never dries out. Size and weight, it's the transformer of the pen world. It goes from big to little. And I recommend this pen all the time and I very rarely get any back. And if I do, people say either it's too small or it's too light. And that's perfectly fine, but I think it's the ultimate fountain pen recommendation. So enjoy your Pilot E95S. Bye. Hi there, Adrian here from the customer care department. I'm going to talk to you about my ultimate fountain pen recommendation. When I started thinking about this, I had about four factors that I wanted to take into consideration. How easy it is to use. First of all, if you're going to get started with a fountain pen, you want to make sure that it's easy to use. Second, what kind of versatility does it have? Um, third, how well does it actually perform? And fourth, how much fun it is to write with. Uh, so with those four factors in place, I started bouncing every pen in my collection, pens I've talked about with customers, friends, family, and pretty soon it became clear that one pen rises to the top for me. And that pen is the Twisby Mini. What I love about the Twisby Mini is it's a piston filler that can go into any bottle of ink. You twist the piston, Boom, your pen is full, you're good to go. It's also easy to use because you can see how much ink you have left. And there's nothing worse than running out of ink in the middle of a writing session. This pen is incredibly durable. The acrylic barrel is pretty good for daily wear and tear. I always have a Twisby on me. I always have my mini in my purse. Um, I have my other mini when I travel because it's just such a great pen. It has the ability to have the nib unit swapped out as well, which I really like when making a recommendation. If somebody's not sure if they're going to like a particular nib size, the ability that they don't have to buy a whole new pen that they can just swap out the nib is great. It also has a fantastic nib. Now, I'm a fan of the stub nibs, but every nib in the Twisby line is gonna be a good, smooth writer, a little teeny tiny bit of feedback on the extra fine and fine nibs, but pretty much you're gonna get a nice, clean, smooth line. And it's a demonstrator, so even if you get the clear version, any ink that you put in is gonna really be shown off there. Um, I've got some shimmer ink in mine right now, handles it beautifully, the shimmer is swirling in the barrel. Uh, it's just a fantastic pen. One of the extra little things is it fun is the cap actually twists to post, which is amazing because if you're like me, many others, and you tend to lose things, the fact that the cap twists on, it's nice and secure and it doesn't interfere with your writing, is just an added bonus. So for these reasons, my ultimate fountain pen pick is the Twisby Mini. Hey there, this is Jessica. 
when I'm thinking about the ultimate pen recommendation for a customer, a couple things I take into account are, you know, is it going to be versatile? Is it going to have a large ink capacity? Is it going to be easy to clean? Can it work with a wide variety of inks? Uh, and I, it needs to be durable, it needs to be multi-use, and it needs to be good for both on the go and at home. So with all that in mind, I pick the Opus 88. The 88 is an eyedropper pen, which is a departure. A lot of people tend to pick piston fillers or cartridge converter pens. However, the eyedropper fill is fabulous because all you have to do is unthread the grip section and you can just dump a whole sample right into the barrel. And from there, the nibs are number six Yovo nibs. So you can swap them out with a large variety of nibs, different brands, different options. And because you can take pretty much the whole pen apart, um, you can just open up the grip section and you can swap the inside. You can clean it really easily and because of that, you can use some of the harder to use inks like Sheen or Shimmer, any of those. It has the benefit of having a piston rod in the back. So normally when you're writing with it, the piston will block off ink flow to the grip section, which is great for travel. So if you are into traveling or if you fly often, then this is great because it prevents it from burping in, the, in transit. So all you have to do when you're ready to use it is you just unthread it and it allows a little bit of ink up into the grip section. This, for me, is the ultimate pen recommendation just because it is so versatile. It is durable. Um, I think the demonstrators look great personally as well, but you also have the benefit of it just being able to go for days and because of the cap, it seals really well. So you don't have to worry about it drying out as, as easily as some other pens. So overall, Opus 88, I think is the way to go. So is there an ultimate fountain pen? Probably not, but it was an interesting experience choosing a pen based solely on our professional experience. Maybe one day we'll talk about our personal favorites. If that's something that's interesting to you, please let us know. In the meantime, I've got links below in the description to all of the pens we mentioned here today. So if you wanna check those out on GouletPens.com, please do. We've got tons of information and some additional photos for you to peruse. Also, I'd love it if you left me a comment about whether or not your ultimate fountain pen, the one you think is objectively the best, is the same as your personal favorite. Because, you know, changing that paradigm might surprise you. It might not be the one you think. If you like this video and want to see more like it, go ahead and subscribe, click the thumbs up button, have fun, right on.